Very good morning to you and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel Jones, live from Kalkine Studios in Sydney. Now, Australian shares are set to open lower this morning, and that's ahead of speeches by the Reserve Bank of Australia executives this week and release of its latest monetary policy meeting minutes set for tomorrow. Similarly, U.S. Federal Reserve's 21st of September monetary policy meeting and press conference will be closely followed by investors. Now, investors are expecting possibility of a big interest rate hike from the Fed in the U.S., raising global concerns. On the other hand, the latest SPY futures indicate that the ASX 200 will open at two points lower this morning. Now, looking to some business news from this morning now, and Origin Energy will divest 100% of its interest in the Beetaloo Basin. They've also announced an intention to exit its upstream exploration permits as the company focuses on its strategy and ambition to lead the energy transition. Agreements have been executed with Tamburan, an equity 50-50 owned by Tamburan Resources and its substantial shareholder, Brian Sheffield, to divest Origin's interest in the Northern Territory's Beetaloo Basin for an upfront consideration of $60 million with also a royalty on future production over the life of the field across the Origin interest being acquired. Now, Origin has also executed a gas sale agreement for offtake of future gas production. Moving on, and Regional Express Holdings today announced that the Foreign Investment Review Board has issued a no-objection notification with regards to Rex's intention to acquire 100% of National Jet Express. Now, that is the regional services arm of Cobham, and it focuses on fly-in, fly-out activities. Completion should take place at the end of this month, having earlier received a no objection from the Australian Consumer and Competition Commission. Rex notes there is media speculation that Virgin is assessing a purchase of Rex, but they wouldn't comment any more about that. Rex is Australia's largest independent regional and domestic airline with 58 destinations throughout all states across Australia. And Link Administration has said Di and Durham wrote that they cannot accept the UK's FCA conditions regarding the proposed $2.5 billion buyout. A letter from Di and Durham states that it has developed a revised proposal which is structured as an upfront cash payment of $3.81 per Link Group share, and that's payable to Link Group shareholders on implementation of the scheme. Now, in the event that the scheme does not proceed as previously advised, the Link Group intends to evaluate alternatives to the business, and that includes an in-species distribution of a minimum of 80% of Link Group shareholding in PEXA in order to maximize value for shareholders. Well, now it's time for a short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcai Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. And welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast Report. Looking to the US now and over on Wall Street, the Dow Jones was down 0.45%. The S&P 500 dropped 0.7% and the Nasdaq ended 0.9% lower. Over in Europe, the Stocks 50 fell 1.2%, the FTSE dipped 0.6%, the CAC fell 1.3% and the DAX ended 1.7% lower. MSCI's gauge of stocks across the globe fell 0.96%. Now, oil prices rose marginally on Friday, and that was after a spill at Iraq's Basra terminal, and that seemed likely to constrain crude supply. WTI crude settled up 1% at $85.11 a barrel. Brent crude closed up 51 cents at $91.35 a barrel. Gold prices rose on Friday as the U.S. dollar stalled. Spot gold gained 0.6% to 1,674 U.S. dollars an ounce. U.S. gold futures rose 0.34% to 1,671 U.S. dollars an ounce.
Well, that's all for our ASX at Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.